Hi everyone, I'm Giant Spain. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Tree, Part 15. Picking up where we left off, Shobo had just been wrecked by a bunch of his uh, old compatriots from the factory, and uh, he didn't fare too well from that, but uh, we, we, drug, we drug him back to the Proto-Dome, and uh, it seems like we've been able to Seems like we've been able to get him back into working order with the aid of Nancy's technological genius. Next day, he's as good as new. Awesome, Nancy. Once again, proving yourself an invaluable member of this troop. And to think I was mad at you for sending us back in time on accident the first time, causing all the drama with Marley and the Chancellor and Dragon Tank and almost getting killed. It's okay. You more than made up for it, Nancy. You're awesome. Alright. Where are we headed now? Huh. This is new. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wake up the old man. That noise you heard, that <laughs> stuff or whatever was him snoring. <laughs> and apparently this is the end of time. Um, it's a time trap from, uh, the way I understand it, it's a time traveling like hub, kind of. Uh, as you progress, you open up more gateways to different times, and then whenever you time travel, you come back here, and you can change party members, or um, go and uh, jump to, you know, whatever time period that you're looking to jump to. This is also where you learn magic for the first time. I'm not talking about like the techniques or the tech or whatever, you know, you already had like Fire Flame World and that kind of stuff. No, I mean like legit magic. Hmm. Who shall I replace? Y'all replace. Mm -hmm. Nancy was showed up. Here is explaining, you know, how the place works and whatnot. Right now there's only three pillars, um, but it quickly expands. Uh, also, the pillars will, you know, obviously give you the warning. Like, you have to confirm to go through them. That way you can actually see what each pillar is instead of just clicking on it and hoping you go to the right place. Since it doesn't uh, give you, like, a pop-up information. Yeah, you have to actually click on it to get the pop-up information. But I guess that's not really new, I didn't need to explain that. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be on here. What's this? I guess it's nothing. No? Okay. Looks like a peek in the room to find it. <laughs> oh, smart mouth, are you? Specchio. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't care, dude. from here, or we start to run into uh, monsters that are, you know, weak against magic, or, you know, weak against magic, but strong against physical attacks, etc. So, you have to start changing up your attacks more um, in combat, depending on where you're at. Like, for instance, uh, Oh, no, I'm not gonna talk about that. No, don't need to give you any spoilers. If you haven't, if you haven't played the game before, we'll let you, uh... We'll let you be surprised by it when, you get the, when I get there. And of course, he says to walk around the room clockwise, um, but my dumb dyslexic ass walks around the room counterclockwise, going, gee, I wonder why this isn't working. This is this this my friends is how you fail. I'm failing anyway. Set an open course on the loser sea. Oh. Just can't seem to figure it out. Fine. I'll do it again. God. I did it three times. Can't you count? Stupid little puffball. My left D pad makes it a little annoying trying to walk around here counterclockwise, too. <laughs> Gee, why isn't this working? I don't understand. I'm so confused. Oh no, I accidentally walked out. Damn it. Fine, I'll do it over from the door. I just can't understand why this isn't working. Gosh. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh. A little, a little spark of hope there? Nope. Gotta keep going counterclockwise and thinking that it's clockwise. Yeah. I'm wondering, hmm. And this, kids, is why you should stay in school. Oh, well, I guess technically I did stay in school, but. American public education isn't uh, that high of a bar to hit. Graduating high school is not difficult. No, no cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm not sure about this going the wrong way. Can't understand why you can't just like be a little lenient. I was going the wrong way. Okay, alright. He's so proud of me. Finally figured out which way was clockwise. Oh. Score. Oh, poor Shovel. Yeah, sure, let's try it out. So, uh, important point of fact here uh, with this guy. Uh, if I was a little lower level, uh, he would be shaped like a frog, um, and he'd be easy, e even easier to uh, defeat. 
uh, trick now is that like he does he does a lot of damage in this form right now because once you get level 10 he transforms into this thing um, which does magic attacks and then your characters particularly have very high magic defense so they get hit really really hard um, so it's kind of a little bit of a juggling act but uh, Shobo is a bad choice to fight him with um, it's better to use like Marley and Nancy or uh, Marley and Luca you can change your name. Um, because they can both uh, be pummeling him constantly with magic attacks as well, because he's strong against physical attacks. And he's gotta juggle the attacks and the healing um, periodically. Uh, th this particular instance, I did not beat him. I, uh, I wound up, you know. Party got wiped, but it was fine because he doesn't actually kill you, he just like laughs and everybody gets healed and, and you leave. Uh, but if you defeat him, you get um, a magic tab. So, it's a good idea to, to kill him. If you want to get absolutely, you know, as many little tabs as you can to up your power rating with magic and stuff. But yeah, he, like, I'm actually mad. He just got hits really hard. And all you have to do to uh, get your other character's magic is bring him in there and talk to him when you get him. And he'll be like, you have this kind of magic. What's up, old man? Snoring again. We'll go back to my time, or to our original time. Let's see. Nope, don't want to go there. Not yet, anyway. Nope. Must be this last time. The Daniel Village, yep. Alright. Time to go see what all the hubbub is. Huh? What are all these little monsters doing in the house? This is weird. <laughs> oh, such a nice thing. Save our game again. Oh no, save number 20. Somebody saves. Interesting. Eh. 
see why there's only name in first here. Sometimes those little tabs are tough to spot. Little speed tab and magic tab. Sweet. Speed tabs. Mm, magic tab. Oh man, I meant to use it on Harley, but I accidentally used it on Chrono. It's okay though, because Chrono's magic's a little weak, so uh -oh, it's not gonna hurt him to hum it up a little bit. Even if I use most of my magic tabs on Marley or Nancy. Good talk to that guy down in the cave now. Or at least down near the cave. No, of course. I don't remember this guy. Guy is the swordsmith sent from the fair. So I'll have all this excess junk. to go do, you know, spend a mountain of time farming it for it, it's worthwhile. Like the load sword at the beginning of the game before you've even done anything. A bunch of mid tonics. For hunting, if you want to like hunt animals, you know, for food, you still need weapons for that. I'm sorry, I'm just, I guess you wouldn't need swords for that, though. Alright. And that concludes this Let's Play Chrono Trigger, uh, part 15. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on part 16.
Thank you.